Hello everyone. This is Dr. Deepak Kumar. Today, I will briefly discuss about scorpion sting. Consider a patient is brought to you with history of scorpion sting. The first thing you need to do is identify whether the scorpion sting is potentially lethal or non-lethal. To do this, you need to know something called as pain paradox. What is this pain paradox? If the patient who was brought to you complains of severe pain, burning sensation, swelling, and reddish patches in the area that was stung called echamosis, it is possible that the patient has a non-lethal scorpion sting. In such a case, the patient has these complaints that last for few hours, after which they decrease and later disappear. However, if the patient who came to you reports little or no pain, it is still possible that the patient has a potentially lethal scorpion sting. In such a case, the patient tends to add more complaints with time, which reaches maximum at around five hours and lasts for one to two days. Such a case can be identified early by doing something called as tap test. By doing the tap test, what I mean is when you tap the area that was stung, the patient who initially reported no pain or little pain reports a prominent pain or an abnormal sensation after the gentle tap. This happens because of hyperexcitable nervous tissue beneath the area that was stung. As it, this happens because of a neurotoxin contained in the venom. With time, this venom can spread into systemic circulation, resulting in hyperexcitability of the autonomic nervous system, especially the sympathetic nervous system. The symptoms that are commonly seen in such a patients are confusion, hyperexcitability of the heart resulting in palpitations, which may indicate underlying arrhythmias, visual disturbances, increase in salivation, twitching of muscles in various parts of the body. How to treat such a scorpion sting? First thing that you need to know is ice packs. Using ice packs, both in a patient who has had a non-lethal scorpion sting or a potential lethal sting offers advantages. First, it helps by reducing pain. And next, the ice packs also help prevent spread of venom into the systemic circulation from the local side. The next thing that can be used is anti-scorpion venom. However, these venom, anti-venoms are not available in many places. As a result, prazosin, a selective alpha-1 blocker is used as a specific antidote in many places, including India. The dose of prazosin to be used is 1 mg every 3 hours or 2 mg every 6 hours for a total duration of 48 hours or till the symptoms last. The last drug that I want you to know is the use of benzodiazepines or continuous IV infusion of midazolam, um, a benzodiazepine which can be used in IV form to relax the brain that can be hyperexcited because of the neurotoxin. I wish this information will help you identify a lethal, um, a lethal sting from a non-lethal sting and help save lives. Thank you.